If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, May 7th, 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings, and joining me today in the Finis Monitor will be Brittany McLean. She just wrapped up a tough competitive season at the Women's Division I NCAA Championships and the Canadian World Championship Trials. Now she's getting ready to compete for Canada in Barcelona this summer, as well as the World University Games. But she still has her freshman year of Georgia to finish, and that's where Brittany McLean joins us now. Brittany, it's great to see you. How are you today? I'm great, thanks. How are you? I'm doing well. I understand you're just wrapping up your finals there. Yeah, I had one yesterday, one today, and um, one next week, and I'll be done. So, so far, what's been the toughest final? Um, probably American history, just because it was really new for me, and I had to learn a lot about America that I didn't know before. <laughs> so what? I would put that on top highest of my list right now. When you were in high school in Canada, did you have an American history class? No, this is the first time I've ever taken anything. Yeah, I think that needs to change. I know in high school here in the United States, we didn't have a Canadian history class. So I think <laughs> there needs to be kind of an exchange of history because, you know, we're, we're neighbors. We should know more about each other. Yeah, I think everyone should be required to take a Canadian history class too. So, uh, yeah, you're wrapping up your freshman year outside of the pool. How would you say your freshman year in the pool went? Um, I had, like, an amazing experience this year. It was definitely um, a bit hard coming in with an injury, and then um, I had to sit out a little bit at the beginning of the year, and that was frustrating just because I wanted so bad to be able to perform for my team and um, make a difference as, like, one whole unit kind of thing. Um, but as soon as I got to start training full time and really um, mesh with the swimmers well, I have such an incredible team and support staff that it was definitely the best I could ever have imagined it to be. So I'm really happy with how it went. Yeah, tell us about that injury and how long it took you to be able to get back into full training. Um, I just had a partial tear in my labrum. It just happened after London. So I was, I came right here after that. and. Obviously, I was kind of slow getting into things because we didn't want to make it worse and we weren't really sure exactly how severe it was. But once I knew exactly um, how far I could push it, it probably took until around Christmas time before I was in full mode. Up until then, I was kind of doing most of the practices. Some were worse than others, but um, I was almost pain-free after Christmas, so that was nice. I had a good solid few months of full training before the championship season. How much of an adjustment was you for swimming now in short course yards after doing short course meters all of your life? Um, it's fun. I love it. We're like, swim, swim, swim. Oh, the ball's already here. And then you turn around and go back. I just like, it's um, it's going to be weird going back to short course meters now for uh, a month or two this summer. But um, it was definitely a nice, a nice change. And I think for the most part, you talk to the Canadians that went to the U.S. We kind of enjoy it. It's a little, it's a bit fun. And um, it's definitely, obviously, the long course season is um, where we're headed into right now, but I really enjoyed the short course one, and I'm excited for next year's season. I would imagine the transition was pretty easy for you. You had a Canadian teammate there, Chantel Van <laughs> Landingham. How was, how was it, uh, was that, first of all, was that any kind of influence for you in picking Georgia? Um, kind of. I mean, me and Chantel came on a trip together the same weekend. We've been really close. We live still pretty far apart in Canada. It's not like we're like, oh, we train together. We don't really, but we traveled a few times and we came off of um, the summer of, we went to Worlds and Junior Worlds together. We roomed together for like two months and then we went right into recruiting season after that. And we both were interested in Georgia and I was like, oh, we should take our trip the same weekend. And so we did. And um, I knew right away, I fell in love with it. And she still had another trip to go to. So I didn't want to be like, Chantel, Chantel, we have to go to school together. But I wanted her to make this decision for herself, and sure enough, as soon as she um, had made the decision, she called me, and we were freaking out, but she, she's been my roommate, and she will be my roommate for next year, and our relationship is awesome. We get along so well, and 
she's really supportive of my career and I love watching her race and do well. So it's been amazing having her with me and it's a little kind of a little piece of home always here. So it's nice. You guys ever get to uh, get the opportunity to keep up with Canadian sports? I don't know if you guys got watch a lot of hockey games there in your room. Um, she's not she's not too into hockey, even go even though um, last night I was freaking out over the Leafs game because they've finally been in the playoffs since pretty much since I remember. Um, so it was nice being able to watch my home team actually play in the playoffs. So that was cool. But um, uh, we we're pretty into the Georgia sports right now. We don't really have too many Canadian teams. Um, that we're both on the same page with. Yeah, well, it was good. The school prize is already kicking in for you. Always. <laughs> um, so just to let viewers know, you were in the 400 free final at the London Olympics. Probably it was a very big experience for you. Is that right? Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> um, so I asked this a lot. What was the more intense experience, swimming in the Olympic final or swimming on that 800 free relay um, for Georgia at the NCAA final? Ooh. Um, that's hard. I would put, well, okay, the Olympic final was, I guess I was more intimidated in that race. It was um, a level I never even dreamed of being at kind of thing. And this is my first Olympics, my first race. I was kind of an underdog going into it. My prelim swim, I just trusted my training. Um, I wasn't that nervous. I just kind of went for it and it paid off and I got a lane in the final. But I didn't realize that I would be so nervous. And during the walkout, I, um, it was a little bit more intuitive than I thought. And I was a little scared before that race. But um, like I said, it was a level that um, I, it was a dream just for me to be in that race kind of thing. And then I got to the, NCAA play and um, when you're competing for your country it's like an unbelievable honor and I take that same pride when I compete for Georgia so it was huge for me to get to um, not only compete with obviously all my girls standing next on the side of the pool cheering me on but um, I got to race with you know Allison Schmidt, Shannon Vreeland who are Olympic gold medalists in that event, Mega Romano holds the American record in it. I mean you can't really compare the kind of um, feeling to being on a relay like that. I said beforehand, I was like, this is a true honor to be on a relay with you girls. And as soon as I was done, I had the biggest smile on my face just because, not just that we won, just because I had never felt so like a part of something so much like bigger than yourself. So it was really cool to get to swim um, completely for a group of people that we had trained so hard with the whole year. I would definitely say that there, there's, you can't really compare them. Both of them, I was obviously a little bit nervous for, but both of them, were two of the best um, memories I have in my swimming career. I think you're the first person who's never really been able to give a definitive answer. Most people say <laughs> it's the Olympic final. Most others would say it's the NCAA final. But I guess you got to get more of both of them under <laughs> your belt before you can really make a comparison. Yeah, I, I, I'm a rookie of both of them. So definitely they're both pretty exciting atmospheres, ones that you can't really compare. So, um, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be able to give an answer for that. Are you going to stay in Athens this summer or are you going to go back home to Toronto? Um, I, I'm staying till about a week and a half from now and then I'll be in Toronto for probably a little bit over a month, month and a half, I guess. And then I travel for all of July and then I'm right back here in August. So Yeah, you got a couple of big meets. The first, the World University Games and then the World Championships. Uh, I mean, that's a, that's well, I guess you've kind of gotten used to that. You probably had to do two pretty good tapers in the college season for the SECs and then the NCAA, so you're, you're old. You got a, you're an old hat at this now. Your two tapers <laughs> in the summer will be nothing. Yeah, you know, I'm looking to getting to race um, twice just because obviously Worlds is our focus and that's what we're working towards this summer. Um, I'm on the four by two relay team for that, so I look forward to getting once again an opportunity to um, relays are fun and getting to race with a group of girls is really fun. So. That should be good, but I get to swim some individual events in Russia, so um, both will be equally good opportunities to race and get more experience under my belt, so I'm looking forward to it. And then uh, just to kind of go back to the Olympics, you got the Canadian team was fourth in that 800 free relay in London, so I would imagine the goal now is to get on that medal stand in Barcelona. Yeah, you know, we've been working towards it for a little, every year we slowly inch up a little bit better, and 
for us to come fourth last year was really exciting. Some people um, look at it as, oh, you just missed the podium. But for us, that was like our version of the gold medal. It's really um, exciting for us to move up so much and um, kind of show that we're going to be hopefully in the mix one day. And um, like I said, just keep rising up on the rest of the world and we're ready to keep improving. So uh, for sure, it's one of the goals and it will continue to be a goal for the next few years. Well, when you go back to Canada to train this summer, are you going to come back to the States for any um, in-season meets before you head off to, to Europe? Um, I might be going to Santa Clara. I'm not sure yet. Normally I go to Charlotte, but that's the weekend I head home, so I won't be going to that. And then I have a few meets um, in Canada before then. But I leave really early in July, so there's only really one or two meets. Um, I might be in Santa Clara but I'm not quite sure yet, so that would be the only option. All right, well, we hope to see you there, and if not there, we'll be tracking your progress at World University <laughs> Games and at World Championships. Thank you. All right, Brittany, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, congratulations on completing your freshman year, not only in the pool, but out of it, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing how you do this summer. Thank you so much. All right, so that was Canadian Olympian Brittany McLean joining us in the Finis Monitor for today's edition of the Morning Swim Show. And that's going to do it for our show. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.